as fire and rescue squads arrived on April 30th, 2011. The scene was permeated with the stench of arson. Depths of history and chaos divers joined the police in their search for 57-year-old Randall Willis Parnell, who was believed to have set fire to his home and then disappeared in his 1987 Black Ford Ranger with Alabama plate number 2A40T27. There were several burdens that Randy was carrying in his life leading to his behavior change, all of this corroborated by his neighbors. In our experience, with someone and their vehicle disappearing in an instance, water is always where we are led. April 30th, 2011, Randall Willis Parnell was last seen here at 3445 Harmon Williams Road here in Mobile, Alabama. Deputies came to this location later on in the day only to find out that the house was on fire. They repeatedly checked the ashes of the house and found no human remains, but they are suspecting that Randall could have caused this fire. Randall was last seen here on the day of his disappearance and Mobile County sheriffs are looking to connect him with this fire. He was last seen driving a black Ford Ranger with the license plate number 2A40T27. If you have any information as to where he could be, Mobile County Sheriff's Office is currently searching for Randall. They have for the last 11 years and they are left with no leads. Now, since he went missing along with his truck, it leads me to believe that 11 years later, they would have been able to find his car going down a highway or a certain road, but they found nothing Thing. So that leads me to believe that his car could be underwater. We're here in Mobile, Alabama for the next two days and we're hoping that we can bring some answers for Randall's family. I'm waiting for Chaos Divers to get here. He's actually driving from Louisiana. He's been trying to solve several different cases over there and he's headed over here to help me today. So as you can see behind me, uh, there's a bunch of woods. There's a little bit of a field and like an outcrop area. I started walking towards it though, and this is where Randall lived. Uh, I believe right down this driveway, further on, we should be able to see the remains of his house. But we're gonna walk this way and see what we can see over this direction. Oh yeah, so this is definitely a driveway. As you can see, so there's two different pillars right here. There's one pillar right here, and there's also one right next to me over here. So this is definitely a driveway. If Randall was leaving this driveway, he would have most likely gone right because this driveway is just centered. We're gonna look at the map. We're gonna wait for Jacob to get here, but let's walk down here. Not really seeing too much. The house is probably closer to the road. By the looks of it, all these trees are mainly like 20 to 30 years old around there. So they would have still been here. A lot of these smaller trees though, wouldn't have been here when their house was here. So I'm here with Jacob, known as Chaos Divers. I'm also here with Lindsay from Chaos Divers as well. <laughs> they are both a team and we are teaming up with them today to search for Randall. And the first thing that Jacob wanted to do, and this was a lot smarter than me walking in the woods. I just, I just walked like a half mile back there looking and he said, we have drones, Britain. Why don't you just fly a drone and see if you can find where the house was? So we're getting the drone up now and it'd be really cool if, if we could, you know, see exactly where this house was to kind of determine like a route that he would have taken yeah. potentially. Now they think that Randall is the one that burned the house down. They're, That's what they, yeah. Especially with him disappearing. What I think could possibly be it, but Oh, I think I see it. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, he found it. He definitely found it. Oh yeah, that's that's it 100%. Now, let me look, see if there's You any, can see the frame. See that's any, crazy. See if there's any trees in my You way. can literally see the frame of the house. Oh, can you? Oh, you can see it. You can see it's right there. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, all right.
All right, so we're gonna go into the house. Some beam. I don't think this is his house, but it's some kind of uh, little outbuilding. There's an egg down there. <laughs> it's not a real egg. <laughs> tell you that much. It's like a fake egg. So as you can see behind me, there's a shed of some sort. We're looking for the house right now, and his drone is right on top of where the shed is. Um, we're walking in this area. We don't really see any remains of the house, but we do know this is probably the out shed um, for the house. So the house has got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, so she's basically got an app that's like tracking all of the um, property markers and like property owners. What is that? Is that like a, a well down there? That, that that spot way down, so where the road comes meets is probably about where the house was at. Because mm. um, there is like fresh greenery around it. Yeah. But Ooh, that looks... middle part is still char. I mean, that'll take years and years to, to yeah. recover. That it looks like there's something right there. You see that? And then, oh, I see it right there. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. No, it won't either. Oh, it won't either. No. <laughs> it's gonna return to me. I'm gonna have to get out of here, guys. There's actually houses, homesteads, just a little further down. But I think right over here on this corner, there was a dead spot. So let's see if that was maybe the possibility of it being this house. I mean, 2011. This growth is gonna grow over, but it's oh, not yeah. gonna. It's not gonna hide everything. With the chard and the uh, the heat, it's gonna be dead for a long, long time. Oh yeah. We're gonna turn down here. No opening. That's it right there, man. That's brick right there. Hey, we got the house. This is definitely the house. Lindsay. This is oh, definitely yeah. it. The floor here. Oh yeah. Yep. So that gives us some some more insight. There's the Ranger drop bed. Is it really? The the liner. Look. The liner for it. Yeah. That's the liner for the truck bed for the Ford Ranger for his Ford Ranger. That's the bed liner for it. That's crazy. So we're not looking for a bed liner in the back of the truck. We're not looking for a bed liner. <laughs> We know, like, look, there's the front steps. Front steps to the house, right here. Yep. Look at that. Lawn chair right there. Yep. I knew there were flowers, too. I saw some flowers. And Look, you can see that everything was burnt. Because, look, look at all this melted glass. Yep. The bubbles in the glass. Yep. Like a melted bottle there. Oh, yeah, that's melted glass. That's actually a paint out of a... Man, that's a paint out of a vehicle. Really? Yeah, it's like, yeah. It looks like a front of a windshield has been uh, burnt. Now, you can is see that, the tent on the front, like coming up from it. Is that his vehicle? Probably not, because they said they actually looked in there and no vehicles of that nature had been found. It could have been another car that they just took out. That definitely was a truck bed liner, though. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's the bed liner of the truck. Yeah, for sure. So, all right. Well, Let's go search that uh, pond up there that you've seen. Okay. And uh, all right. this is this is some good evidence. I mean, we got evidence here that's the story's true. So now we just got to get going. Deal, Britt. 2011, this road was straight shot, straight in. They just closed it down. They're gonna redo the whole lake. They said we have to wash our boats before we even get into it because it costs us 20 bucks. 
Plus, I gotta call the old boy tomorrow, or tonight, and see if we can get permission to actually search it for tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. So it's not even a public lake? Or is it... I, I, I guess this is the only access to this lake. Okay. And he said that the commissioner or who, whomever I'm supposed to call okay. has access to I mean, he, he'll give us access to it, possibly. Okay. It's not, it's not a guarantee. But I'll have Lindsay call and see what we can do. Um, we can get down there. It's just they, they blocked the road off today. Like yeah. they just put the... Put just up. today, wow. <laughs> what chances? <laughs> what chances? So I guess we'll call. I mean, this has been a... It's been a well, heck of a day. Yeah, we haven't really been able to search anything. Uh, but we did get a lot of information. You know, we got that he he had PTSD from the from the locals. Now, I'm not going to sit there and cause rumors or, you know, say something that isn't true. But from what they were saying, possibly could have been an affair. He went crazy two weeks before. With, with all that being said, he had PTSD. Dude was troubled for two weeks. I don't know what's going on, but that straight in shot in my heart, I think he's down I think there. he's there. Yeah. I wonder if we can try to see if we can get access. We'll, we'll stop over there at that let's gas stop. station yeah, let's do and that. see who owns that. Okay. Alright. Awesome, man. Yep. So as you can see, there's do not enter signs everywhere. This was a straight shot into this lake. And apparently we have to get permission to even put a boat in here. But uh, yeah, definitely something we're going to come back to tomorrow. Okay, if this guardrail wasn't here 11 years ago, that is the easiest, that is literally the easiest way you could drive into the water. You could literally drive right off of this into the water. I guarantee you there's a car in there or possibly more than one car. All right, everybody. So that is going to conclude day one of searching uh, for Randy Parnell. Uh, we went to his property today, did some drone footage, kind of tried to get an understanding as to what went down that day you know when the house went up in the flames you know we hear all these reports online and we just wanted to you know clear it up for ourselves that that is exactly what happened and so far everything that we're learning is that he definitely did leave his property uh, we don't know where his car is we definitely did want to search that big creek lake but unfortunately it was blocked off we weren't able to get to the property but you are in contact with the uh, person who could potentially give us permission to this yeah, lake, which yeah. would be That'd amazing. Be awesome. So he's gonna give us a call tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be able to search that lake because there is that road that is just a straight shot into the water. And you guys, be sure to check out Chaos Divers if you haven't already, yes. be sure to subscribe to their channel. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be searching for Randy Parnell tomorrow. So with that said, thank you so much for watching this episode. Good luck. We'll see you guys on the next one.